I've gotten a couple of comments saying I basically just make the same beat over and over again, and here's the thing. I have brain worms, and if Vapor Trap and Fonk are what the brain worms want, then Vapor Trap and Fonk are what they shall get. Uh, so you'll never guess what we're making today. Joking aside, there is some interesting stuff going on in this beat that I'd like to show you. So first of all, we've got our sample chop. And in this case, I've actually pitched it up, which is a bit unusual for me. Some of this stuff I've engaged warp on just a tiny bit to bring it more into the pocket that I ended up creating with the drum part. We'll get to the drum part momentarily. And I've got a bunch of this stuff sent to a mute group. So here's the sample flip. And I've created a duplicate of this chop so I can still jump forward in time to get to that last snare hit. Effects. And then I proceed to ruin that sample uh, with this monstrosity. And, uh, the sample is side-chained to the kick. So, converted machine kit, as is tradition. I have gone in and added a tiny bit of high pass and a bit of soft clipping, which I often find brings trap kicks to life. Same deal with the snare, high pass and soft clip. Something like that. Extra hi-hat with a little bit of auto pan. So when I do note rolls, it bounces around in your speakers. Pretty simple part. I should also mention uh, the auto pan on the snare as well. And I'm using that as a little offbeat element. And then we've got our extra uh, layers, which is the real fun part. So in addition to this uh, converted machine kit part two that I have uh, affected pretty heavily, this kick layer and this little extra hi-hat, in addition to this uh, kind of more normal percussion, I've also got a bunch of Foley. I've been messing around lately with just recording whatever Foley I can possibly find. And so I just sat at this desk and like hit the desk and dropped the coin on it and rattled my water bottle around. Just anything that I could think of that was within arm's reach and then like chopped those out and explored those. I might put those in a sound pack at some point because that could be kind of fun, but I probably need to clean them up a bit. So regardless, we've got things like this coin drop, which sounds kind of nice if you layer it with a snare or this donk I don't think I ended up using. I used this splash as another layer I think this is my water bottle that I used as a little percussive element. Just try to fit it in a pocket in the beat somewhere. And so all together, there's a coin drop. Water. Water bottle uh, rustling. It adds a lot of texture, and this is something I want to do a lot more of. Maybe get some like paper crumpling or leaves crunching, or I've been uh, taking some more field recordings like around town of things like uh, streams after we had all that rain and all that kind of stuff. I want to do a lot more of this because it's actually really fun, and it gives an instant amount of uniqueness to your beats because no one else has those sounds, guaranteed. Regardless, um... 808. This is one of the 808s from the machine kit that I have affected pretty aggressively. Diode clip, tube drive, little bit of EQ. And 
and that's the beat. Pretty simple one today. This is very standard for me, but I wanted to put it in your eardrums and uh, put some quick little stuff that I've been having fun with in your eyeballs. So I've got some more beat making for you to check out somewhere on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with a new video in a little bit.